In this tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to paint Black Templar Power Armor, the Tabards, and I'll even show you how to paint some skin. Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to paint Black Templars. I'll be putting the brushes and paints I use in this tutorial in the description below, as well as putting them on the screen as I use them. If you enjoy my content please give this video a like and let me know in the comments below. And if you want to help support what I do, you can become a channel member or you can join my Patreon which I'll also link in the description. I really appreciate any help and support and it goes a long way to growing the channel and allows me to keep improving the content I create for you. And I massively appreciate the continued support from these amazing people as well. In this tutorial I want to say a massive thank you to Ryan Rose who has recently become my latest patron. It really does make a difference. I've built my Black Templars and sub-assemblies to make painting easier and you can have as many sub-assemblies as you want. I've also chosen to undercoat my Black Templars in Chaos Black Spray. I don't often use black when undercoating so it'll be a nice challenge to get the bright colours I'm used to. Through this tutorial I'll be showing you all the techniques and steps that you'll need to get both your initiates and neophytes painted and to make it easier to follow along I'll divide the steps into the following chapters. The armour, metals, materials, accessories and painting heads. In the first part of this tutorial I'll be going through how to paint the famous Black Templar power armour and the dreaded white shoulder pads. So to start we want to use some Abaddon Black to paint our base colour because even though the spray primer we used was black it's not an exact colour match to the spray. Doing this means if we need to use a bad and black for cleaning up any mistakes for example, it's not going to stand out against what would have been the Chaos Black spray. Once you're done applying that base colour, we can start the process of highlighting the armour. I'm going to go into some detail about highlighting, because it's a skill that when you're able to do it well, you can pretty much paint anything, as it's a great way to practice brush control. Whenever I'm highlighting, I like to keep a brush separate so I know I have a nice point to it when I come to use it. And when thinning your paint for highlighting, I find I don't use as much water as I normally would when layering, as we won't be applying multiple layers. I then remove some of the paint on some kitchen paper, which is going to help us keep control of our paint and prevent those thick blobby lines. Our first highlight is going to be a chunky highlight and this wants to be quite a thick line so it can still be seen when we apply thinner highlights later. Using an equal mix of both the bad and black and Stegadon scale green, you want to paint these lines along any edges and around any details and I'm almost using the side of my brush for this to get the thickness I'm after. This highlight is going to really help define and start to bring out all the details and panels of the armour. The next highlight we're going to paint is an edge highlight using rust grey. This highlight is going to be thinner than our first highlight we did and to make them easier to paint you can use the edge of your brush and run it along the edges to paint the highlights. If you have places you can't do this then just take your time painting thin lines along those edges to create the highlight. This can be quite difficult to do and it takes a lot of time and practice to get really good at it but it really does make a difference in bringing out any details on your miniature. The last stage of highlight is going to be spot highlight and we're going to use administratum grey to bring out all the more prominent edges. Now you've finished painting the highlights I hope you can see the difference it makes to making your power armour look amazing. If you want to get fancy you can paint some scratches and chips in the armour using rust grey and I find having almost no paint on your brush really helps with this. Let's now move on to painting the dreaded white on the shoulder pads and let's see if I can make it a little easier for you. Let's start by using Corax White to get our base colour down and to get a smooth solid colour always remembering to thin your paints first and I find an equal amount of water does the trick. As well try not to go over any areas you've already painted so we don't create unwanted texture whilst the paint is drying. You'll see that because we thinned our paints we won't be able to get a solid colour with just one coat. So once that layer of paint has dried we want to paint another layer and continue this until we get that solid colour we're after. And when you're happy you've got that solid colour, let's do the same thing but use a north one grey this time. To achieve that slight off-white tone you sometimes see on Templar pads, 
we can just mix in a little Carrick stone with the Alcorn Grey and paint this into the recess around the edge and along the bottom of the pad. Painting the white can be quite messy, so you may have to tidy up the black armour along with the highlights. You could paint the white parts first, it's up to you. Now our Space Marine is starting to look like a Black Templar, let's get everything else painted. The next details I like to get painted on any Space Marine are the metal details. And for our Black Templars that's going to be a lot of silver and brass detailing, like the chest decorations. For all the silver, start with some iron hand steel, and then give this a wash using Norn Oil. This can then be finished with a Stormhost Silver Highlight. For any details you want to be brass, start with some Rune Lord Brass. Give this a wash using Reichlin Flesh Shade. When that has dried you can simply finish with another highlight of Stormhost Silver. With all the metals done let's do something a bit more fun and paint all the material on our Templars. There are a lot of different materials on our Black Templars, so let's get started with the tabards. Let's work on getting a solid base colour down using Wraithbone first of all, making sure to take our time building up the colour slowly. Next, thin down some more gas bone with an equal amount of Lamy Medium, and we want to treat this kind of like a wash. This is going to create a soft shade all over, especially in all that shallow detail. We then want to continue to darken the deeper recesses with more gas bone just as it is. Now we want to neaten up the tabard and lighten the raised areas with wraith bone. And before we highlight, I want to quickly show you how to create some dirt and grime on the bottom of the tabard. Using our thinned down more gas bone, I apply some to the bottom of the cloth. Using a stippling motion with the brush helps create some texture. Do the same thing again, but this time using some thinned down carrick stone. Once you're happy with how the dirt and grime looks, it's time to do some highlights on our tabard using North One Grey. Let's now work on getting all the straps and pouches painted. Start with some Mornfang Brown, and to give the leather definition, give these areas a wash of Norn Oil. When that's dry, we can edge highlight the leather with XV88 first of all. And then pick out some details and edges with the finer highlight of Carrick Stone, and we can add scratches and break up the highlights to get that scratchy leather feeling. The knee fights all have gloves, boots and trousers, and these can be painted at the same time to make life a little easier for us. Any trousers are painted with dry apart, and boots and gloves can be painted using Rhinox Hide. You now want to apply a wash of Norn Oil to all these areas, and once that has dried, highlight all these areas together with some Carrick Stone. Our Black Templars are nearly done, just a few last details, and then I can show you how to paint some skin. There's a lot of black and earthy tones on the Templars, so let's now add some more colour with lots of red. For any weapon casings, we want to paint the base colour using corn red. Now give this an all over shade with Norn Oil. Next paint a chunky highlight with some Mephiston Red. And then an edge highlight using Troll Slayer Orange. To paint the red trim of the Sword Brother shoulder pad, we want to start a bit lighter with some Mephiston Red. Now use some Norn Oil just around any rivets. Paint a chunky highlight using Evil Sun Scarlet and for the edge highlight I like to use some Fire Dragon Bright. The last red details you may come across on your Templars are these strips of cloth. Paint these with Mephiston Red first of all and then apply a wash using Norn Oil. To finish use Troll Slayer Orange as a fine highlight to help bring out the details in the cloth. If you want to paint the text on these strips, thin down some Orphan Grey and take your time painting little squiggly lines. With all the red done, I can finally show you how to paint some heads. I want to finish this tutorial by showing you how to paint a couple of different skin tones for any marine who forgot their helmet. For a lighter skin tone, start with some Kizler Flesh, making sure to get that solid colour. Create some definition with a wash made using an equal amount of both Reichlin Flesh Shade and Lamy Medium. When that has dried, pick out the more raised features and details with Kizlef Flesh. 
and then finish the skin with a fine highlight using Wraith Bone. A darker skin tone is painted starting with the base colour of Gawthor Brown. The wash I use for the definition is non oil just as it is. Again pick out the more raised detail once the wash is dried with Gawthor Brown. And the highlight is painted using Carrick Stone. Finally you'll want to know how to paint the lenses for the marines who remembered their helmets. Begin by painting Mephiston Red into the lens recesses. Paint a thin line of Fire Dragon Bright along the bottom edge of each lens. And finish up by painting a small dot of Orth 1 Grey in the top rear corner. The only thing left to do is to put our Black Templars together and to do this I use some super glue so I don't ruin any of the paint. Our Black Templar Initiate and Neophytes are now finished and I hope I've been able to give you the confidence and knowledge to go away and paint your own. I've got plenty of other tutorials on the channel including some of the other Space Marine chapters. I really enjoy making these tutorials and I hope you find them useful. You can really help the channel out by liking the video and commenting below. You can also support me at Patreon which makes a massive difference in helping me make these tutorials. Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future content and I'll see you in the next video.